one goal behind Sir Bobby Charlton's all-time haul for 249. Ooh, one goal behind Bobby C. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here with a little late reaction for you for the game last night, Manchester United versus Feyenoord in the Europa League. Uh, of course, we won the game 4-0, a great performance from United. I missed the second half of the game um, due to issues that were beyond my control. And that's also why I didn't do a match reaction. The first match reaction I've not done for a game, you know, immediately afterwards for, well, years. So apologies for that, but here it is now, basically, a little bit late and also a little bit distorted because, as I say, didn't see the end of the freaking game there. But from what I did see, it was a good, fluid performance from Manchester United. Some great interplay there from the likes of Rooney, Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, who uh, started a, a rare game and, based on the performance I saw him put in, deserves to feature for Manchester United in, in the upcoming game against West Ham on Sunday. Uh, a much more positive game of football from us. Of course, we scored four goals. Uh, the first of which coming from Wayne Rooney, a man who's coming from a shitload of criticism, a lot of it rightfully so, um, but he still manages to silence the critics, at least here and there. Lovely, lovely goal it was, lovely deft lifted finish over the keeper um, to give Wayne Rooney the 39th goal he has scored for Manchester United in Europe. 39 freaking goals for Manchester United in Europe. You can't deny that, man. That is absolutely Pure penetration from Wayne Rooney there over his career. He's just uh, beaten Ruud van Nistelrooy's record of 38 in Europe. 39 goals. 39 goals in Europe from Wayne Rooney. I mean, that is quite an achievement. And he's only one goal behind Bobby Charlton's record uh, as Manchester United's all-time goal scorer. Quite an unbelievable career Wayne Rooney's had for Manchester United. And he's not even a one-club man. Pretty much because we signed him when he was 18. But you know what I mean? That is quite an unbelievable tally that he's got. 248 goals he has scored for Manchester United. Uh, just one behind Bobby Charlton's record now. So hopefully, you know, he'll be uh, overtaking him very soon. I say hopefully. Part of me just doesn't want Wayne Rooney really to, to be the top goal scorer. But based on the, the uh, contribution he's made to United over his career, you can't deny him that. Um, but Bobby Charlton's just such a massive legend, such a just a, a man held in such high esteem by everybody in terms of you know how his personality is, how much of a nice bloke he is. Don't get me wrong, I mean Ray Ray's a nice bloke, but you know he's he's not without his issues. Every you know grannies and prods that he's in, you know getting pissed up and in, in the with the England shirt on and stuff like that. You know you don't see Bobby Charlton doing that. You know Bobby Charlton was never involved in any three ways during his playing days, and I'm pretty sure. You know, since he's retired, nothing like that's happened either. So, um, you know, that's why, to me, Bobby Charlton will always be that, that just that gentleman of the game. Not only a gentleman of the game, but just a complete, just absolute beast midfielder. Not to mention the fact that he did score all of those goals from midfield, which is quite an unbelievable achievement. Wayne Rooney, most of the time, has been played in a forward advanced role. Um, but still a magnificent achievement to be United's goal scorer. Manchester United, the greatest freaking club in all the world. And Wayne Rooney's going to be the all-time leading goal scorer for us. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. You've got to take your hat off to Wayne Rooney. I'm not wearing my freaking hat now. But if I was, I would take it off in honour of Wayne Rooney. Um, <laughs> so, you know, very happy with uh, with him. The performance from Manchester United was generally a heck of a lot better. It's much more like we should be playing. It's much more like I think Jose Mourinho wants us to play. And it looks like, from uh, from what's going on, it looks like he's starting to have the effect on Manchester United now. It's taken time, but it looks like we're playing the way Mourinho wants us to play. Fluid football. That was a good performance against Feyenoord. Let's not get carried away. We should 100% be beating Feyenoord at home. 100%. We beat them 4-0. It was a convincing performance. Uh, enjoyable football to watch. Nice goals. Uh, but we should be doing that. Just like we should be doing West Ham on Sunday. We should absolutely be destroying West Ham on Sunday. You know, West Ham with the turbulent start they've had to the season. This is not the West Ham of last year. This is a very different West Ham altogether. And even if they were the best West Ham, Manchester United at Old Trafford, we've got to be battering them. So um, so that's what I think is going to happen. I think we are looking for a similar performance to Feyenoord uh, against West Ham. I'm looking for a lot of goals, a lot of performances. I think the team will change a little bit because obviously it's only Thursday to Sunday. Some of the players are going to have to be rested. But I think the likes of... Uh, Mkhitaryan's going to be starting it on Sunday. I would like to see that, you know. 
why, why is he not featured so much? Based on his performance that he put in yesterday, I'd say that he deserves to be in the starting eleven already. We've signed him for a reason. He was a beast in, over in the German league. Why wouldn't you have him come in there and play in lots of games? If Jose Mourinho does not select Mkhitaryan on Sunday, then I'm going to be pissed off, man. You know, because I just don't understand the logic in it. If you give him a chance and he takes that chance and puts in a good display, good opportunity, uh, good performance rather, then you've got to give him the opportunity and uh, play him in the next game. You just have to. I think that's what Mourinho's going to do. Mourinho's not a complete moron. If he doesn't play Mkhitaryan, then he is a complete freaking moron, sad. Um, Wayne Rooney, though, he did put in a good performance yesterday, a faultless performance. You can't really uh, criticise him too much. He does seem to play better in, against the shitter teams, though. That's the thing. When he comes into the big games, he's struggling a bit more these days. But I guess that's the same for all of our players, all of our ageing players, at least. So what do you guys think about it? Do you think Jose Mourinho is, is getting the best out of Manchester United now, this United side? Do you think he's starting to get us playing how he wants, how we all want? based on the performance yesterday and how we have improved over the last couple of weeks, I think that is looking to be the case. I think this game on Sunday will be a huge uh, indicator of where we're actually at because even though West Ham are having a struggle at the moment, they're still a good team. They've still got good players. They've still got a good manager. And uh, it's in the Premier League there. But like I say, West Ham at Old Trafford, you've got to be winning that game. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Old Trafford, in my opinion. If you're at home and you're Man United, you should be winning those games too. So to play West Ham and not get anything but three points would be a, would be a travesty. It'd be a fucking calamity. So, um, <laughs> no, I wasn't talking to you, mate. Wasn't talking to you, pal. You want to go, son, do you? So, I would expect Manchester United to play in a similar sort of way. I'd like to see that attacking, free flowing spirit that we displayed last night. And I'd like to see us take it to the hammers. Take it to the freaking irons. Is it the irons or the hammers? Make up your freaking mind. Do you know what I mean? Right, anyway, guys, before I embarrass myself anymore, I'm in a good mood today. And that happens generally when Manchester United win 4-0. When we lose, not in such a good mood the next day. It's funny how that happens. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys thought about the performance last night against Feyenoord. What would you change in terms of the team selection between that side that was selected and the way we played and the game against West Ham at the weekend on Sunday? Would you keep exactly the same side? Would you mix things up a little bit? Please do get commenting with your thoughts and opinions on the team we should put out against West Ham on Sunday. Um, in terms of your team selections, get commenting below in the comments section with your, your team selections. Also, your predictions. I think we've got to beat West Ham. If we don't beat West Ham at home... There's some serious issues there, especially, as I say, the way West Ham have been this season so far. I'm going for a comfortable United victory. I'm thinking 2-0. I think we'll shut up shop against West Ham and also score a couple of nice goals as well. Uh, I expect Wayne Rooney to be a, a pivotal part of the side. I think Wayne Rooney just needs... He's the sort of player who just needs to kick up the arse every now and again. Sort your freaking life out, Wayne. And then he does tend to sort his life out, you know. He goes out on a bender, he sleeps with a granny, and then he plays like a fucking dynamo. Nothing more. Nothing less. Love is the best. In our humble estimation, to add all the rest. Madness, you fucking legends! On this Friday morning, no. tickets you'd like, as long as um, it's not above that limit. No. Yeah, now we're talking. You can hide those lying eyes. You can. Yeah, next one. Come to the end of the road. No, I can't let go. It's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do uh, comment with your thoughts and opinions and all the things discussed in this video and your selections for the game on Sunday. Uh, this is The Pig. Please chuck a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, and also keep a look out for upcoming videos. Um, until next time, have yourself a fucking good one. I love you, baby. 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 I 
shop on Amazon if so you can support this channel by using the link in the description to do your shopping on Amazon it doesn't cost you a penny more uh, it just gives me a little bit of a kickback on the channel as an Amazon associate pretty sweet for both of us so uh, get your shopping in it's Black Friday today use the link in the description it'll be much appreciated have yourself a freaking good one <laughs> Sure.